So as a few of you may have noticed, recently I started a thread. And on that thread is, um, so far, I think it's 1 to 19 of Detective Comics. I have read uh, 1 to 20. I have to put up my review of 20. Uh, I'll do it right after I actually post this video. But uh, my whole point with this is that I wanted to not be the expert on Batman, but be an encyclopedia of knowledge. And be someone who has a complete um, Rolodex of what they believe Batman to be, what they believe, you know, the origins of Batman to be. Um, someone who just, you know, your kind of go-to comic expert on all things Batman. With that, I have done the first 20 and I've posted my reviews for the first 19. I gotta say, <laughs> some of them are absolutely ridiculous. You know, starting off, obviously things were completely different in the late 30s. Things were completely different back then and it's very obvious to see. So it'll be interesting now when I do the next seven, what 27 will be like with the first introduction of Batman. Um, I think what I'm going to do is each one in batches. So I've done the first 20, I'm going to take a break. Um, I was intending on getting on to 27 by the end of today. So that means I have uh, 21 to 26 to finish before I start 27. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today. I'm not sure if I'm really in the mood as I'm kind of half talking like this here, say, you know, 1920s, 1930s gangster because everything that's written in it is just, it's all like that. But I am going to attempt to also do a couple of other runs while I'm doing this because I mean there's detective comics were well over a thousand at this stage well over so it's going to take me years to complete all this it's not like I'm going to be doing a set amount per week or a set amount I'm going to just read them as I feel I need to read them um and I'm going to go through it in my own kind of way as I would read comics naturally because I feel that's the best way for me to do it so you will get the reviews and you'll see my progress going along but what I want to do here is also involve all of you in my decisions on certain things that are happening going forward. Like, I have access to Justice League of America, the start, to see the Justice League. And I also have access to the original Batman run that started in 1940. So I think what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to get to 50 and I'm going to pose it to ye. Once I get to number 50 in Detective Comics, I'll stop. And I'm going to do another run of your choice. So I'm going to pose it to you now. Justice League of America. Or the original Batman run. And I will do these, uh, you know, consecutively alongside in a different thread for you. So have a think about it. And leave your likes, comments and opinions down below. Or leave me a message on Twitter. And I might put up a poll or something or just gauge kind of opinion on what's next or if you're even liking it. But um, that's all for me right now. Oh, sorry. I do need one thing for me. In the reviews that I'm leaving, they're kind of, you know, they will be concise to a point. But when I get onto Batman, I will be doing like almost whole threads of the review. Uh, obviously, don't don't worry. They're very concise at the moment because I'm only just reading over, you know, those back issues before 27. But obviously, once I get into Batman, I will be making full, uh, proper reviews on it. That might even be like one or two treads after the picture that's posted. Um, so don't think that it's going to be boring or anything. I will be, you know, discussing these in depth on each issue. That is also part of why I want to take my time while doing this. Um, it helps to give a proper reaction when reading and then post a review directly instead of reading maybe a batch of five and then posting my reviews as I kind of was with the past um, 1920 that I've read. So don't worry, loads of Batman content coming.